armor-piercing, highly mobile, and virtually indestructible. This is the Abrams tank, a titan on the battlefield. This tank has redefined modern warfare, its presence alone enough to tip the scales of victory. The Abrams tank is more than just a war machine, it's a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. Born from the crucible of conflict, the Abrams tank has played pivotal roles in numerous military operations. From the scorching deserts of Iraq to the harsh terrains of Afghanistan, its steel silhouette has become a symbol of strength and deterrence. But it's not just the tank's presence on the battlefield that's impressive. It's the way it operates, the way it moves, the way it strikes fear into the heart of the enemy. But how did the Abrams become such a formidable force? That's the story we're about to unravel. To truly understand the Abrams, we have to travel back in time to the birth of armored warfare. The genesis of tank warfare dates back to World War I, where the first tanks were designed to break through enemy trenches and create a path for infantry. However, these early tanks were slow, cumbersome, and highly vulnerable. The need for speed, firepower, and protection became starkly apparent, sparking an era of continuous innovation and development in tank technology. World War II saw tanks become the spearhead of offensive operations, with designs focusing on increasing armor and firepower. As technology advanced, so did the complexity of the battlefield, and tanks had to adapt. The advent of anti-tank weapons and the increasing potency of air power necessitated a shift in tank design philosophy. Tanks needed to be faster, more resilient, and pack a greater punch. This era of constant evolution paved the way for a new breed of tank, the Abrams. Born out of necessity, the Abrams was designed to outclass its predecessors. The journey of the Abrams tank started in the 70s amidst the Cold War's escalating tensions. The United States needed a tank that could stand its ground against the formidable Soviet T-72. Thus, the Abrams was conceived, a brainchild born of the necessity to evolve, to adapt, and to overcome. The Abrams was a leap forward in tank technology. Its design was unique, incorporating features unheard of in its time. A multi-fuel turbine engine providing unprecedented horsepower was combined with a sophisticated suspension system, allowing the Abrams to glide over the battlefield like a steel phantom. Its main gun, a 105mm rifled cannon, was capable of piercing enemy armor like a hot knife through butter. But the Abrams wasn't just about raw power. It was about innovation about pushing the boundaries of what a tank could be. And it delivered on that promise, quickly becoming the envy of armies worldwide. Yet its true power lies not just in its design but in its advanced armor technology. In the battlefield survival is paramount. The Abrams ensures this with its cutting-edge armor technology. The Abrams tank's armor is no ordinary metal hide. It's a composite armor, a blend of materials designed to absorb and dissipate the energy of incoming projectiles. This unique combination of materials including ceramics and metals provides a robust barrier, making it highly resistant to a wide range of threats. More intriguing is the tank's reactive armor. It's an additional layer of protection that reacts upon impact, literally exploding outward to counteract the force of an incoming projectile. This reactive mechanism significantly reduces the damage and penetration of enemy fire, enhancing the survivability of the tank and its crew on the battlefield. This advanced armor technology gives the Abrams an edge, turning it into a veritable fortress on tracks. It's not just about withstanding blows but also delivering them. But a tank isn't just a shield it's a weapon, a very deadly weapon. Armed with devastating firepower, the Abrams is a force to be reckoned with. The heart of this lethal force is its main gun, a 120mm smoothbore cannon. This beast of a weapon can fire a variety of ammunition types, each tailored for maximum impact against different targets. From armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds designed to penetrate enemy armor to multi-purpose anti-tank rounds, the Abrams ammo is as varied as the threats it faces. But firepower isn't just about the size of the boom. The Abrams boasts advanced targeting systems that allow it to identify and engage targets with pinpoint accuracy, even while on the move. Its sophisticated fire control system integrates data from various sensors, providing the crew with real-time information for effective target acquisition and engagement. 
Yet firepower alone isn't enough. A tank must be able to traverse the battlefield swiftly and smoothly. Navigating the battlefield is a game of speed and agility, a game the Abrams plays exceptionally well. In the world of armored warfare, the ability to traverse varied terrain swiftly and smoothly is a significant advantage, and that's exactly what the Abrams brings to the table. The heart of the Abrams mobility is its powerful gas turbine engine, capable of propelling this 60-plus ton beast at speeds of over 45 miles per hour. The engine's impressive power output allows the Abrams to navigate a variety of terrains, from sandy deserts to muddy marshlands, with relative ease. But it's not just about raw power. The Abrams also boasts an advanced suspension system that enhances its maneuverability. This system ensures a smooth and stable ride, enabling precise control even in challenging environments. Whether it's darting around obstacles or climbing steep inclines, the Abrams maneuvers with an agility that belies its massive size. But a tank is nothing without its crew, their safety is a priority. In the Abrams, the crew's safety is paramount. The designers of this formidable machine recognized that a tank is only as potent as the crew operating it. Consequently, they devised several innovative features to protect those inside. The Abrams tank is equipped with a sophisticated fire suppression system which automatically extinguishes fires within milliseconds of detection, reducing the risk of burns or smoke inhalation injuries. Tanks are typically built with ventilation systems to ensure a steady supply of fresh air and remove any fumes or pollutants that may be present. However, tanks aren't known for their spacious interiors, and the crew members often have limited personal space. While modern tanks may incorporate ergonomic designs and advanced technologies to enhance crew comfort, the conditions inside can still be challenging. Tanks can become hot and stuffy due to the engine's heat, lack of natural airflow, and the insulation required for protection. Crew members may experience discomfort, fatigue, and increased perspiration during prolonged operations. To mitigate these issues, tanks are equipped with climate control systems, including heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC, units, to maintain a suitable temperature and air circulation. Then, crews are provided with specialized protective gear and clothing, that are designed to be breathable and moisture-wicking to help manage the heat and humidity. Additionally, the tank provides comprehensive nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, ensuring the crew remains safe in a variety of combat situations.